Hello everyone, it is Shadows Woman. and I'm here to present to you guys the new free week champion rotation for League of Legends. This week we have Draven, Galio, Graves, Jax, Maokai, Nami, Sona, Swain, Turinamir, and Xin Zhao. Or Xin Gao, Xin Hao, either way. It, it's all the same. As usual, guys going to go through the list from E, or in this case from D to Z. And to tell you guys the general items you can expect to the champion to have, the lane you can expect them to be in, and the role they fulfill. So first things first, we got Draven, who you'll expect to see him 99 out of a 100 times to be the bottom lane as the ADC, building items such as a Bloodthirster, Phantom Dancer, Infinity Edge, your standard ADC items, maybe getting a Guardian Angel, etc, etc. And a Static Shiv isn't always bad on him either. Same thing with the Last Whisper. Other than that, again, expect to see him in the bottom lane as the ADC with your standard ADC items. Next we have Galio, who can be played top or mid, and you're going to be seeing him played primarily as like an AP tank. You'll see him get a mixture of AP, health, and armor. The reason why he won't focus on getting magic resist is because a portion of his uh, ability power turns into magic resist. So you'll be seeing him get items such as maybe Rod of Ages or an Athene's on Holy Grail because that'll you know kind of double dip for him give him magic resist as well as magic resist from his passive and ability power. Maybe get an Abyssal Scepter Again, for the double dipping factor of magic resist from the item and magic resist from the AP he gets. Again, items such as a random's omen's not going to be bad because that'll add health, that'll add armor, which he needs, and you know, be able to sustain. Other than that, pretty tanky in general, but more of a mage tank, you know, more to soak up AP damage. You know, he's he's the Ramus for. AP users, pretty much, because Ramus is for AD, you know, to counter high AD, and Galio's to counter high AP. So, there you go. Good, you know, good similarities between both of them. Next, we got Graves, who, just like Draven, fulfills the role of the ADC. You'll see him played 99 out of 100 times, again, in the bottom lane, getting items such as a Phantom Dancer, Infinity Edge... Bloodthirster, etc., etc. And again, bottom lane with a support. Next, we got Jax, who can be played either in the top or in the jungle. He fills either role quite well. And he's one of the few champions that you'll be seeing built as kind of a hybrid, meaning like a Hextech Gunblade and maybe Gintu's Rage Blade. That's pretty good for Jax as well. Maybe getting a frozen mouth going towards the more AD slash health side. The reason why I say he's kind of hybrid is because of his ultimate. It's got a active where a percentage of your AP and AD turn into the counterpart of armor and magic resist. And that'll help you tank a lot of hits. So, again, Hextech Gunblade is going to be pretty good for Jax. Again, to his rage play, rage blade is gonna be, you know, key on Jax as well, and again, it kind of differs from there, depending on if your team needs you to be a little more, you know, if they need you to be more of a bruiser, you'll go for, you know, that frozen mount. If they need you to be a tank, Randwin Zoman, never a bad choice right there, but yeah, other than that, pretty, pretty solid in general, and again, can be either top or jungle. I very rarely see him played other lanes. Or fulfill other roles. Next we got Maokai. Who just like Jax. But a little less like him. Can be played at the top. He can be played jungle. Or he can be played as bottom as support. Fulfilling the role like Sona. Or not Sona. Like uh, Leona. And being that tank support. I mean, as you can expect to see on Maokai. If he's jungling or top. Or even mid would be high AP. So Rabadon's Death Cap, 
maybe building up Zanya's hourglass or you know, well going for the themes on Holy Grail is never a bad idea for him. Maybe getting a crystal scepter. I wouldn't recommend that one though. I would recommend a tier of the goddess, turning that into an archangel staff, having that turn into a seraph's embrace, etc. etc. And uh yeah, if he's being played support, again that run of age is still gonna be still gonna be there. Themes on Holy Grail definitely and then Standard support items, which, you know, they're what Nami and Sona are pretty much going to be getting. Your Runic Bulwark, you're going to be getting, you know, your Iron Solari, you're going to be getting, you know, what else would be good for them? The uh, Ruby Sight Stone, etc. Your standard support items from there on out. With a little emphasis on tanky stats as well. And Abyssal Scepter is definitely good for Maokai as well, too. Nami and Sona fulfill the same role, their support, 9 out of 10 times they'll be played, you know, in the bottom lane as support, building support items, with a little emphasis on AP, so again, a thing done Holy Grail, you'll hear me mention this a thousand times for supports that use mana, a thing done Holy Grail is very good for all of them, so, get it, please, It it's good, it gives you mana regen, gives you AP, gives you... Magic resist, pretty much almost everything you want as a support. Uh, let's see. If you're going to go a little more you know, AP and a little less support, but still fulfill that support role, a Rod of Ages is going to be pretty good for Nami and Sona both. Uh, again, that you know, Archangel staff is going to be pretty good because you'll, sp you'll be spamming abilities pretty often as Sona. Not as much as Nami, but still pretty often. Often enough to get that stack up very, very quickly. And again, standard support items. I'm not going to go into more detail about them. Next, we got Swain, who, of everybody on this list, is the only one that I could say will most of the time be mid. You know, you'll, you'll see others mid, like maybe Sona or Nami or Maokai or Galio, but 9 out of 10 times Swain will be mid unless there's another mid like Akali, Katarina, and even then they'll either flip-flop or they'll pick. But yeah, he'll be mid and getting typical AP mid items, wrapped on his death cap, maybe getting a Landry's Torment, getting Abyssal Scepter because he's going to be in the fray a lot when his ultimate is popped, and the things on Holy Grail is also good for that, lets you be able to stay in your ultimate form longer, pretty much almost like how Anivia's ult works, where, you know, it's not, you know, it's mana-based, like Defile, it's, you know, around you until you either, de you know, deactivate it or you run out of mana. So, his ultimate is pretty much Karthus's Defile, but it returns health, and pretty rapidly too, and does good chunk of damage. Uh, what else would be good for Swain? I want to say maybe a Crystal Scepter, but I'm not, don't quote me on that one. But again, your standard AP mid items that, you know, Rabadon's Death Cab Zanya is going to be key. Other than that, can differentiate. I would definitely recommend that uh, Landry's Torment just because it gives you health, gives you AP, gives you magic penetration. Which a lot of people undervalue, but it's very, very good. There have been times where I've had your know, magic pen and just completely knocking the other AP mid out because I just have more magic pen than them, but they have more AP than me. So it it kind of evens out, but magic pen comes into effect when you have you know more than fifty, well more than a hundred magic resist on a target or a player. So yeah, it does help against those tanks. And those people are just like, oh, I see one AP, I'm going to build full magic resist, ha <laughs> ha. It helps. It it certainly helps. And last but not least, I'm going to go over both these two. Just because they're very, very similar in their place. Well, in the roles they fill. Terenomir and Xin Zhao. You'll see them either in the top lane or in the jungle. Mostly in the jungle. Filling the role as the jungle. They'll be building pretty much the same items. Got the Ravenous Hydra for both of them. You're going to be getting probably Phantom Dancer, Frozen Mallet for Zinjo. Going to be getting probably Trinity Force on Zinjo. 
Uh, what else? Static Shiv on Terindamir. Again, they fill almost the same exact role. Almost the same exact items, just a little differentiation. Terindamir doesn't need as much crit as Zin does. I mean crit items because of how his passive works. But you're still going to get those crit items, so Infinity Edge always going to be useful. Not necessary though, Phantom Dancer and maybe a Static Shiv would be fine. But I would say probably work towards that Infinity Edge. Bloodthirster for both of them. Again, very, very similar. And they'll be played either the top or the jungle. And Zin can actually be very, very tanky. He, he can go the tanky route, getting a Frozen Mallet, getting a Sunfire Cape, getting, you know, a Banshee's Veil, and just being a full-blown tank and not really focused on damage. But he'll still deal a ton of damage regardless. Because that's how he is. Trinomir, he's a glass cannon. You know, he'll go to like one health and stay there due to his ultimate. But yeah, he'll he'll fade out pretty quickly. But uh, yeah, guys, that's it for the free week champion rotation this week. I know, pretty quick video as usual. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. I am very busy IRL, but I try to, you know, try to stay active with how often I'm checking my mail and how often I look for comments, stuff like that. You know, at least, at least once a day I'll look on my lunch break. So yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And yeah, guys, that's it. Don't forget about the 200 subscriber video or 200 subscriber giveaway I'm doing. Go ahead and just go to the channel homepage. You know, it's right there. 200th subscriber video update. So, yeah, go ahead and check that out. Got some pretty cool prizes. And, yeah, just let your friends know if you if you think they're going to be interested in the stuff I do. I plan on doing more Dota 2 and League casts soon when I have the time. But other than that, again, my name has been Shadowswalm, and I will talk to you all next time.